Yo, hello guys, um, this is Emitech. So, very quickly in today's video, guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys on how to run your um, H1 uh, testnet airdrop. Okay, I'm gonna be walking you guys step by step, guys. You can see the instruction given by Satoshi. It says, last five days to claim your H uh, Heaven 1 airdrop on Satoshi. And don't forget to register on the Heaven 1 testnet. It's mandatory to receive your H1 token. Okay, so in order to do this, what we are to do is to come to our account here then we need to click on add account or hardware so this is metamask account so you click on add new account all right so make sure your network is on core blockchain okay make sure it's on core blockchain so this is a new account so i can just rename it to h okay let me rename it to h1 airdrop okay so that i'll be able to recognize it all right so the next thing we need to do is to click on our browser then we'll let me open a new portal so this is a new portal so you go to my uh description of this video or if you're in my whatsapp group you get the link so i'll go copy the link now so after getting the link you click here you paste the link so it's going to appear there so just give it time to load up so when it's done loading all you need to do is to click on join testnet okay click on join testnet so you connect your wallet all right so i'm using metamask so i'll just select metamask so my wallet is uh, connected already so it's going to ask me to add uh, having one testnet so click on confirm so once we have added it will switch our network so it will not be on having one so click on got it then you click on finish sign up okay so um click on finish sign up okay so what you need to do is to put in your email address okay put your email address then enter the verification code sent to your email okay so i will do this now okay so when you are done with that then you can see then you click on uh sign up okay so you wait so it's going to come here okay so just select account type individual the resident just select your country i'm from nigeria okay make sure my referral code is here okay make sure you need a referral code okay that's why i suggest you get the link from my description or from my group so you click on sign up all right guys um so once your signing in is complete it will take you here so just click on this sign in okay so approve approve the connection okay so that first phase is correct so you can see this is where you get your referral code okay this is where you get your referral code we have stocking we have stake we have vest we have votes okay sorry so just need to Let's go back to token. So um, let's click on this line. So we can come down here. So you see verify identity. Okay. So uh, just click on the verify identity. Okay. So this is the first one we need to do. So when you click on verify identity, it will take you here. So you need to connect your wallet. So let me turn mask. So connect. It's connected already so come down click on signing so we approve then it's gonna account type is individual con resident select your country nationality select your country as well okay then um please ensure the info is accurate click on confirm okay so this other one which is um uh, verification proof of an id card you can do this at your own time it's currently uh night at my end here so i can't really do this to understand so I will, I will do this later so i think we can bypass this so let's click on this steady line let us go to dashboard okay so this is the dashboard all right so the first thing we need to do here 
so we click on this three line at the top corner here you see bridge faucet and all okay so let's do the faucet click on faucet so it's going to open this section to you so you need to claim faucets all right so click on claim so we need to switch network okay so switch your network to sapolia so it will not be on sapolia where you see there okay so wait for it claim from faucet so we just need to wait for it okay so it's calculating so let's wait we will see we need sapolia ethereum as gas fee <clears throat> you see that we don't have it so in order to get this let's reject it first let's reject it okay let's reject it then this is what we are going to be doing so we need to open this site called akemi.com this is the name of the site you can see it at the top akemi.com so when you open the sites okay it's going to be like this let me go back let me go back uh, so when you open the side it's going to be like this so what you need to do is to screw down downward then you come here and you look for sepulia faucet this is it sepulia faucet click on it okay to take you here all right so you go to your wallet you switch to ethereum let's switch the network to ethereum okay so this is my ethereum address all right so all you need to do is to copy your address from here okay copy your address from here you need to have some amount of ethereum at least uh, zero point something dollar worth of it so i'm just waiting for my balance to refresh because i think i have a little ethereum here you can see that i have a little ethereum so let's go back so paste the address here you can see that you need minimum balance of 0 0.001 ethereum okay so just okay please sign up with akemi so just click on sign up sign up so let's create an account so you can just do a manual don't have an account sign up just do a manual registration and login okay um this is the option to verify your akemi account so make sure you select the free okay select the free click on next okay just click on skip bonus and uh impute your answer last thing you did you can just click on let's build okay then your account is um fully set okay so this is just to verify it okay so now we can go back to our metamask all right so we are logged in so let's paste our address let's copy our address here let's paste it here then you click i'm not a robot just solve the capture bridge so just solve capture yeah. then you click send me ETH Okay. You can just just go back cancel this so I think it's done try your transaction so I think it's done so let's go let's change to uh, where is the net So if it doesn't show Sapolia, click on this show test net. Okay, this is Sapolia, it will show you. Yeah. So let's see if we got some. Alright, you can see we have our 0.1. Okay, I think this is enough to do what we want to do. So we can go back. So now let's move ahead to the next. 
god this video is it's gonna be long so let's refresh refresh this page so we can claim our sapulia usdt so we click on claim from faucet then wait for the estimation of the fee so you can see that we have 0 0.1 already so let's just click on confirm we already have the gas fee needed so you see your request sapolia usdt have been sent sapolia usdt will arrive in your wallet shortly so we are done with this first one so the next one we are going to be doing is this uh, test net h1 this one so click on it so it's going to take us to this other page so let's copy this page okay they will come here we just need to open it in a new tab you understand okay the reason is to, i would have used my pc but not everybody has pc so i'm just trying to make do of my phone so people everyone can be taken along you understand so let's paste the link here then we'll open the page so it's open so it's telling us unsupported network click on switch so we need to switch to this okay so this is it so what we have to do is to click on request testnet request testnet so just wait okay it's loading it's loading just need to be patient transaction is successfully you can see that 10 testnet each one token have been added to our wallet you can use them to interact with application within the having one ecosystem okay so this phase is complete then you can click on i'll do it later or you just cancel all right so we are done with this page so let's go back to our previous page which is this so we have done with sepolia usdt testnet so let's click on sepolia ethereum let's see if we can claim so remember i told you guys on how to claim this before so i've already done this okay so i believe i've taught you guys about that already so which is basically this one when you claim our sepolia uh took token for the gas fee okay so let's go back here i think we are done with this phase so the next step is to click on this three line we are done with the faucet so let's try the swap click on swap so it's going to open up this page so i'm just going to copy this link and uh, you know i will do it so i'll need to open a new tab on my metamask here then i'll need to paste the link here so we can perform the swap transaction so we need to connect our wallets metamask connect so i'll uh, select token so i'll just use the uh, husdc so let me swap to okay so let me swap to i'll be getting 0 0.9 so click on swap confirm so just confirm this swap is done successfully so um the next one is uh, okay pool so let's click on pool here so let's see what we can do new position let's click on new position so we already have our h1 so let's click on select token okay. so i will select husdc remember i i did this so click on husdc so what we'll be doing here what we'll be doing here okay so let's set 0.3 percent okay so let me click on full range full range oh. okay full range so come down you can see the usdc has swapped so click on max so let's click on approve next approve you 
your position will appear here so let's wait i think we are done transaction is done so i'll click on preview here then i'll click on add confirm okay so our transaction here is done okay so you have actually added liquidity it's already in range so i think we are done with the swap and the pool section okay so let's go back to our accounts so we are done with the first set the swap so now let's go to the bridge okay so um when you click on the bridge to scroll down you see this here on the first one here you select sepulia okay on this other one you leave it on the, having one test net so you click on next so we need to switch network all right so network have been switched so on this we select usdc so the maximum we have i'm going to be using maximum so I'll click on the next okay so scroll down just click on review then we need to confirm so let's wait for the transaction to go through all right so the transaction is fully complete it took me up to five minutes okay so after doing it you just need to wait for the transaction to show complete so we are done here so we are basically done here so what we need to do is to click on this three line then we need to click on stake h1 so you click on stake h1 you click on switch network so it's going to switch to h1 test net all right so make sure okay let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see okay what we are going to be staking is we're going to be staking h1 so just put the amount of h1 you'll be staking so let me stake two all right so i'll be staking two so i'll just click on uh, stake so click on confirm so our staking is is going through uh, okay so stake is successful okay so on this we can add track your H esh1 add just click on add so it can be added to your metamask add token so if you check it here you'll see your h1 here you understand so that's all so that is all for now so about this vest i don't have idea about this vest yet i don't have any idea okay so I believe it's the we are going to be using ESH1 for this vesting. So I think we are we are getting that ESH1 from this um, staking mistake. Okay, I think that's that's it. All right, so that's all for now. So if there's any further information, we can eventually do a video and drop it here on our channel. So please do well to like, share, and subscribe. So others can as well do this so that they won't miss out on their h1 token from satoshi so this is gonna do well see you guys on the other side have a blessed night